Here's an odd story. There's a dude in Tokyo who has found a way to get paid to do nothing. I like this idea. <laughs> he's a 38-year-old guy, and he's discovered people will pay him to do nothing. He's a do-nothing rent-a-man. Why are people paying for his time? Well, here's man. the story from CBS News. Take a listen. Most days, Shoji Morimoto has appointments with a steady stream of clients. His service is as popular as it is peculiar. He bills himself the do-nothing rent-a-man. I lend myself out to do nothing, which means I don't make any special effort, he said. Eating, drinking, or simple chit-chat, that's about it. And that's enough for this customer who requested anonymity. For his mostly female fans, Rent-A-Man offers a safe space. No judgment, no strings, and on request, no talking. In Japan, women tend to worry about what other people think, about not being a burden, she said. It's exhausting. This kind of escape is important. Rent-A-Man has struck a chord in this workaholic and conformist country. He's collected almost a quarter of a million followers on Twitter. In his pre-slacker days, Morimoto bounced aimlessly from one job to another. Out of desperation and on a lark, he decided to rent himself out, charging only for food and car fare. Thousands of encounters later, Rent-A-Man's experiences have earned him royalties from four books, including a manga comic about joining clients at museums in Disneyland or providing moral support for a divorcing spouse. His signature blue cap and backpack and his inexplicable success inspired a semi-fictional TV series last year. I have plenty of critics, he said. They say, get a job, but I don't feel the need to answer to anyone. Strange place. It is. I, so the women feel a weird pressure when they're by themselves or whatever? I guess. Huh. So it's a, it makes it look better if they're with a guy. So I guess. he's... I don't know. They say he's a do-nothing man, but isn't he just like a male escort without the sex? That's what it seems like. Yeah. Right? I mean, his idea of doing nothing is so much more than my <laughs> idea of doing nothing. Like, he's actually going to places. <laughs> right. Like, if you want to do nothing, do nothing. Like, I would just go to your place and sit on your couch and do nothing. They want nothing. him to like eat you, and stuff. With they them. want to be right. seen with a man. That's something. I'd be yeah. like, oh, sorry, I can't do that. He's walking. I'd... That's, yeah. oh, that's yeah. something. Come on, I'm not doing that. It's so nuts over there. It's it's a yeah, it it's is. a crazy, it's a crazy life. You know, it's weird that he became some kind of cultural icon. Right, he's got his own. Yeah, TV he's, he's, he's like like a book? TV show, dude. And he's not making mm. money. Like he's just like they basically pay Food. for his meal and drinks. Yeah, he shows up in movies like Larry King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, oh, like, imagine you didn't realize it, but this guy has been in some stuff. <laughs> you know? You're like, oh, man. But how does he pay he his bills? That's what I was just about to ask. I don't how know. does he survive? He... They pay him. No, but no, they only yeah, pay but... for his meal or his drink. Well, he said that's oh. how it started. You think they have to pay him I now, think they right? must pay I him now. He, yeah, I think I thought he got paid for the service of yeah. being there. Well, they I only went it... to, they only paid for, look, he, nothing more than the cost of car fare and if needed meals. Yeah, but he, they say that was at the beginning when he first started. I feel like now that, well, he also, oh, he yeah. sold a TV show. Thousands of Curious That's Encounters true. later, his experiences have earned him a living. He's written four books, including a comic about joining clients for a few hours and even providing moral support. It's just so strange to be, with, like, hanging around this guy. He's, like, with you everywhere. I also yeah. feel like <laughs> he, the way that he took his photos, uh, he almost looks like a, like a BTS type guy. And when you see him in real life, it's like he's not, he's just, he's just normal guy. But I think in his advertising, like these girls, are like, whoa, he's like a hot oh, guy. They're expecting a good looking dude when he yeah, shows up. Yeah, and he's I think just he's an just guy. an average guy. He's real boring. Incredibly boring. Wow. Yeah. Personality. Um, someone said while his clientele skews female, some of the uh, stories are from men. There was a young man stuck in a soul killing job who asked Rent a Man to meet him on the swings. To briefly relive the joy of being alive. If I ever hire a man to swing me, 
<laughs> That's a different kind of depression, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm so yeah. sad. I just oh want to go swing. The hey, man. Over. Why don't we head to the swing? <laughs> you <wanna> swing? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that move where I swing and run underneath you. Yeah, do that. I'll, be going, I'll, I'll get scared like I'm going to flip over the way over well, there. I know. <laughs> mm. Did you hear things must be really bad for Chuck? He hired a man to swim with him. He's yeah. pushing him on the swing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you when you would Yeah, did you hear Chuck's a swinger? <laughs> oh, really? No, like a legitimate swing. Like he <laughs> goes on a swing and a man pushes him. He's a swinger. <laughs> uh, another unforgettable client was a lonely young man who asked to share a home cooked meal and an unbearable secret. What? His mother had raised him to a life of crime and he'd been sent to a reformatory for his role in a robbery that left a woman dead. And yet, the man told Mr. Rental he still pined for the mother who had ruined his life. Oh my God. <laughs> what a terrible well, job this guy has. Uh, if that happened at all, or if he's just selling books. He writes a book every month, it seems like. He's got four books. That's yeah, true. Maybe he's making it all up. He needs to have something. Plus, he sold it as a TV show, which is nuts. I feel like there are crazy stories over there. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure.